All right, here we go. I'm get my theme song playing. Hey, hey, hey. Googly moogly that thing is juicy. Googly moogly that thing is juicy. Okay, in time. Let me get my dew, and we can start this video. Let's take a sip of the dew first. We got the Mountain Dew thrashed apple. Smells thrashed. Smells apple. It's very strong. You only take little sips of it, you see? I just like to, to sit with it and give a little sips here and there. Because <laughs> it's such a strong flavor. It tastes like a, the, the green apple Jolly Rancher and like apple cider. That's a good way to put it. Which is strong. I hate apple cider and I hate green apple. The flavor's not bad though. It doesn't taste awful. It just tastes too strong. It's not what I like. Three out of... Four... Three out of ten. Don't drink the whole thing. It's gross. Welcome back. It's Yoma Vlog Time Part 2. Hey everyone, it's hot Yowie Kazawi Zenny here. Dragon Ball Z recap mode activated! Ah! Last episode, we got some ramen. Step by the con on Thursday to check out the garage sale before Huntington staff kicked us out at 10 o'clock. Friday, I broke my feet wandering around looking for the Persona photo shoot, overexerted myself, got into a showdown with the volunteer, read my first panel, then called it a night. <laughs> did call for a little rain today, just a little drizzle, but I think the brunt of it was early in the morning. The rest of the day, it was supposed to slowly clear up. We did catch just a little bit later in the afternoon though during our photo shoot, but no biggie. Now that I got the heavy lifting over and done with Friday, the rest of the week should be a little more easy going, right? Right? Since I had a minute before leaving for our photo shoot, I was kind of curious to see what kind of chaos unfolded uh, yesterday at the con. The biggest event was the cancellation of the Maid Cafe Friday. As of recording this video, Yoma put out a statement that they were working on giving refunds to everyone who purchased a ticket to get into the cafe, so basically ripped everyone who purchased a ticket and everyone who volunteered to run the cafe. But they did say that the maids and butlers were going to be playing games and singing karaoke in a different new panel room somewhere for a few hours to anyone that wanted to come. I don't really do maid cafe, so I don't know if that panel actually happened. But if anyone went to this event, shout it out in the comments. I'm really interested to know. Also, Yoma handled mailing out badges to anyone that pre-ordered them and opted to have them mailed directly to them. And not many of those badges made it to the people on time before the con started. So the lines to get all that sorted out was a major malfunction because they had no clear line for the people just picking up their badges in person and the people that were supposed to get them in the mail, just like they always are. And I guess the internet failed that day so they were only accepting cash for badges for a little bit. I also like that there was an in-character Harley Quinn volunteer ordering people around during that time, probably just making the registration line even more of a mess than it already was, who I actually saw on Thursday carrying around a bat, I think. I, th I thought she was just a regular attendee being annoying at the time. I got like zero sleep last night. Oh hey, you know it's not a good location for an air conditioner? Right above your bed! It was cold last night so I turned up the heat. And when I finally fell asleep, I quickly woke up drenched in sweat. I had to turn down the heat like two times because I was straight up being blasted point blank by it. I know I couldn't adjust the angle in which it came out. I tried. There we go. Half-eaten leftover pizza from last night <laughs> for breakfast on my sad little dinner table. Okay, look. I'm alive. Barely. I'm up. Hopefully it won't be as rough as it was yesterday. It's time for me to suit up because I am part of a cosplay group for not only anime, but one of my favorite anime if you've been watching the channel, Zombieland Saga Boy. One of my favorite characters I get to dress up as. I get to meet a couple other Zombie Land side of the characters. Unfortunately, a few of them couldn't make it due to circumstances. So sad, I miss you guys. Hope it will catch you next year. We can do it again. We're gonna do a little photo shooting. It's early. <laughs> Everyone's worried about making it on time. I'm ready to go. Just barely. I feel sick. <laughs> I'm waking up so early. Let's go. Let's hurry up. I gotta get moving. Where my sunglasses at? No one can see my eyes. I don't want anyone to see my eyes. There we go.
So of course, things just can't go easy for us. Just like on Friday, we plan to do our photo shoot at the Mariners Church. But since it was under construction, we had to come up with a new plan. A little bit before the shoot, our photographer like messaged us saying like, hey, Huntington Security is telling people they can't take photos in the building, which we were a little confused by. But at 10 o'clock, we decided to meet up in the bottom of the Winter Garden area off to the side in our own little corner and get situated till everyone was ready to set up and get shooting. Our photographer wanted to just get some quick solo shots of each of us while we were sitting there getting ready. When, wait for it, drum roll, you guessed it, we were stopped by security or safe. I don't know, that's what their jackets said. No taking photos in the Huntington place. These ladies were ready to rip our throats out at first, but after we talked to them for a little bit longer, mainly trying to figure out what they meant by no photos in an essentially public area, but we also got a little more details on what's going on behind the scenes at Yomacon. So what they were told to enforce from Huntington's side of the staff was no one was allowed to take pictures with professional cameras, AKA just normal cameras, like mine but we could take pictures with our phones in Huntington's public areas. If we wanted to take pictures with our professional cameras, we would have to do it in public spaces owned by Yomacon. Basically any area that you needed to have a badge to get into, like the dealer's room or literally people's panel rooms. Not the most ideal locations for photo shoots. There are some conventions for in order to even get into the building where the con's being held, you need to buy a badge. And the way Yomacon does it is the main halls of the building are open to the public, but in order to get into con specific events, you need a badge. So the Huntington staff was on a mission to patrol their open areas and hunt down anyone using their camera because they didn't want to be seen on Facebook or something like that? I have no idea. I didn't understand the reasoning, nor did anyone else for that matter. But either way, we wanted to go outside behind the building because there was some cool spots to take pictures at on the riverfront anyways. <laughs> Yo, I know she ran get a die job, Nanto Kashio, Ikte Tokum of Tas Hench, they go, Kimi Sash Okitsets Bow, Iden. Even with the minor setbacks, the photo shoot was still a great time. I never had a chance to participate in any group cosplay before, so it, it's a ton of fun to have a bunch of people as characters from one source walking around, you know, causing havoc. And it was super nice to have someone other than myself taking pictures of us. Yeah! Unfortunately, the pro camera debacle set us back a little bit time-wise, and overall just kind of threw off the mood during the photo shoot, but we still got some great photos. After our shoot, I did want to rush and switch to my Burger King Aki cosplay, which is just my recycled Aki Hayakawa from Chainsaw Man cosplay, but, well, in a Burger King uniform. Because <laughs> there was a Chainsaw Man photo shoot I wanted to attend, like, literally right after our Zombie Land shoot. So I unfortunately didn't have time to go back to my room and change, but I at least still wanted to watch and take some photos. Right, photos. With a camera. And that's when I was sniped down again by safe 
and told no cameras again. I guess I was in the mode of, I'm not a professional photographer, I'm just an idiot with a, a decent camera. What's the big deal? Then they threatened to take my badge and kick me out of the building if I didn't put my camera away. That's when I got pissed off and decided to just leave the photo shoot and uh, go back to my hotel room, drop some of my crap off, refresh, cool down. So welcome back to Zenny's Corner. I went back to my room real quick to drop off some stuff. <laughs> on, the way, my, on my way back, some of the people waiting for the bus, one of those, those are old guys like, hey, Dracula. <laughs> yeah, I'm, Dr I'm Dracula, baby. <laughs> Anyways, we finished up our uh, Zombieland Saga photo shoot, and I just want to give a massive shout out and props to our photo shoot coordinator, our person in charge, Cosmic Raindrops. Everyone in our group, I made a little goodie bag for them. And we even got thank you cards. Should I read it? It's so nice. It's like, what? Uh, here we go. Zenny, thank you so much for being part of and inspiring this cosplay group. It means the world to me. So, no thank you for like getting our butts in gear and actually doing it. But look at, let's, let's, let's empty out this goodie bag, dude. Oh, there goes my eyeballs. Ah! Are these, are these? There they go. Someone's gonna find an eye. The next people that check in. We got candy. We got the spooky Skittles. We got, I already had one of these earlier. <laughs> Suckers! We also got the spooky skeleton pen so I can write spooky stuff with and wave with my skeleton hand. We got... <laughs> they made this awesome uh, ribbon, my girl, Lily. Fuck yeah. This is so cool and I do love the rainbow holographic look to it. And last, they even found buttons for us. It's my boy. That is so cool. I can't believe they found that and did all this for us. So again, thank you. I just had to shout this out in the video. You guys don't care, but I do. This is awesome. Back to our regular scheduled program. One of my new favorite things to do is take pictures of cosplayers at cons. I like to give people actual photos from a camera instead of a cell phone for them to download, you know, if they wanted to. Because sometimes, like myself, we forget to take photos of our own cosplays. Plus, I enjoy walking around and seeing everyone's cosplay. So I was pretty mad that they were taking that away, which I've never ever heard of before. It's gotta be a first in con history. No taking photos in our building. What's a con if you can't stop for photos? That doesn't make any sense, right? Of course, now we get news that the photo issues have been resolved. We were allowed to take pictures this whole time. I was gonna kill him. I was so mad. I was still up for risking my badge, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, I wouldn't be able to make the damn vlog if I couldn't take my camera out. I was trying to figure out ways how I could like sneak it and run and gun. So also when I was stopped during the chainsaw man shoot, yes, the one only pick that I got was at least of my homegirl Himeno, my beloved. So that at least makes up for that. Our group did have a chance to chat with the, the safe ladies from earlier and from what they told us, please take everything I'm about to say with a grain of salt because we've detoured into speculation alley. We are gonna go conspiracy theory for a minute here, but from the sounds of it, the deal for booking Huntington Place as a convention center and using its staff for this year's Yomacon was literally finalized days before the con started, giving basically zero time for preparation. Like, payments were just made. Hence all the miscommunication and the dealer's room applications taking so long to come out. To even all the vendors not being able to set up till like 7.30 at night Thursday. Dan said they didn't finish setting up till like 11.30 at night. And they had like this simple little booth area to set up. Imagine the people that had the big elaborate setups. But if we want to go back a little further when we felt like we had a reason to really think something was going wrong with this con this year, was the whole hotel block escapade. From 2005 to 2009, Yomacon bounced around in the city of Troy, then Dearborn, Michigan in hotels before finally moving to the Detroit Renaissance Center in 2010. Then in 2012, they added the Huntington Building to the venue because this con was growing bigger and bigger every year, which it still continues to do. So general announcement for guests have always been a little washy, at least since like the time I started attending this in 2015. That's just a Yoma thing, you'll get used to it. They were never the most organized con. Last year when I attended, they opened the room blocks for the Renaissance in July. 
this year, July went by with no announcement. Then August, then September. Anyone know when room blocks are opening up? Uh, the con's like two months away, October 1st. But we'll have announcements on the room blocks soon. Next week, room blocks are uh, coming soon. Ish, maybe. I believe like three or four weeks before the con, they finally opened up some room blocks, but not at the Renaissance Center. There was absolutely zero word on the Rensen this year. It's like they were keeping quiet about it. They opened up a few blocks of somewhat nearby hotels in Detroit, but people were waiting for the Rensen blocks to open since it's literally where the con takes place. But they never came at all, which was odd. There was never an official statement saying the con was never even going to take place in the Rensen this year or why. So people were naturally confused if this place was going to be part of the con or not. We just got one backhanded exclusion of the Rensen during a news segment with Yoma's con chair. So I guess it's not part of the con this year? But it's funny that the location was still shown in the graphics promoting the con. Either way, people needed more than a few weeks notice to book a hotel, especially the people that are coming from out of state, that are guests, or even vending. I got my I got my hotel in the summer. I already planned to try a new place this year outside of the con ahead of time. That was hopefully quieter. We found the guitar player that's here every year playing OPs from various shows. This year it was the Bochi gang that took over. But they knew the theme for season two of Zombieland Saga, which is a headbanger. Check it out. So I was stoked to hear it played along with live. And while I was in character. <laughs> I'm mad we didn't get to check out any of the live music performances. There was a ton of great artists this year. We caught one act from outside the ballroom playing, and it looked like they were putting on an awesome show, and they sounded great too. But this was the time when one of Mew's friends lost their badge. After splitting up for a little bit, we decided to meet back up in the game room. We didn't have a chance to play anything, but just wanted to check out the room and see what was going on in there which was a massive and impressive setup. A little overstimulating with all the noise and games going on. It's still a cool room to vibe out in, especially with all the lights and stuff. Here we go. But looking over the footage, he still had his badge as we were leaving the gaming room. There it is. See? There it is. So it must have fell off somewhere between the area right outside of the gaming room and the hallway leading up to it. Which is when he noticed it was missing, like instantly. This is only like a little bit after we left the gaming room. The volunteer watching the entrance to the gaming room was like so nice and let us go back in to look for it. But we came up empty handed. Then we were sent on a wild goose chase to see if anyone returned it. Go here and ask these people. No, we don't do that. Go there and ask these people. Oh no, no one did that here. Go back and ask these people you already asked earlier. Have you asked these people yet? At this point, it was a sure shot that a stinky gamer probably scooped it up and kept it for themselves. But we searched a little more before we needed to take a break. But shout out to one of our other homies in our group who sacrificed their badge 
and gave it to him so he can go to like the panels and the dealer's room and other stuff for the rest of the week. What a real G to give up his weekend badge. Either way, the Chad of the year definitely goes to them. <laughs> After grabbing some grub from the food court, we split up because they wanted to go check out a panel and I wanted to wait for the horror photo shoot to start. I, I was super stoked for this one, especially because I could actually use my camera for this one this time. Hey! <laughs> time to make another super quick scramble through the dealer's room before it closed for the night then wanted to get out of my cosplay so i could meet up with dan kayla and augustine for some dinner okay it is time to go meet up with some homies we are going to a i don't even know what it is but it's called the ufo factory and uh i'm gonna find out what it is hopefully they have food because i am starving let's go Nuestro cerebro para perdonar Yo solo okay, quiero volver a confiar <laughs> En tu cariño y en mí Christmas hat? Okay, I think I've seen that, but it was like, fold, like off of him, folded under her arm Good food, I heard they got good food Hot dogs, records, and cocktails. <laughs> we got grilled cheese sandwiches from the darkest bar I've ever been to with the worst DJ audio that I've ever heard. But at least I got to see some friends I haven't conned with since 2017. Even if it was just for a quick second. Then we got distracted by the coffee and ice cream place next door on our way back to the car, which was definitely worth the stop. Oh, especially since I realized we never went to Astoria Bakery this year. No. Dan had to call it a night since they had to be back at the dealer's room bright and early tomorrow. So I went back to the con to meet up with Mew and the crew to check out one last panel for the night. Fast 
drop off some stuff in my car. Look what was in my window. I got a visit from the, the Zaza man. <laughs> 24 hours. Oh man, what a steal. That's a Zaza man. I definitely recommend checking out the So You Think You Can Fan and Crew and any of the multiple panels that they do. I caught one of them last year at Yoma and had a ton of fun, so I was glad I was able to make it to this one, which was the super official bad idea panel. Panel. And well, I can't show you any of this one because uh, they definitely put the, the plus and 18 plus with this one. But again, they put on a great show and always have the most like crazy panel concepts. Highly recommended. Okay, let's wrap up Saturday and move on to the last day of the con. A great time with that. Also, I guess, I mean, we could just like have you drink like hot glue or put your hand into like hot ice or something. We'll have fun, all right? We'll find a way. Talk to your audience. You gotta know those people. You gotta look them dead in the eyes. You might want to look at all the, the rest of their bodies too. Make sure everything's in the right place. Oh man, it's been so cold this season. It's great, it's great. How about health-related anecdotes? I already said. Eight inches minimum. And even if he isn't, why don't you want to have sex with him? He's a legend. <laughs> Right. Wait, we're locked in here? We're locked in. <laughs> Step three. The lawn darter prepares every fire. So I like the idea of taking my bouncy eyeball and hiding it somewhere and I think a good spot to hide an eyeball for the next guest to find is in the microwave so when they go to cook their breakfast they're gonna find an eyeball in the microwave. <laughs> No, I'm not going to melt it. I have a tiny bit of muffin left over from last night. So I'm going to microwave that and have just a little bit of that for breakfast. Ah, there's an eyeball in the microwave. Ah. <laughs> oh! That just come back and hit me in the head. Oh. Oh. Right, that's enough joking around. Let's get serious. Serious business today. Serious conning today. Still don't. I <laughs> lost my voice. That makes sense. this parking lot and just move to another parking lot. <laughs> Back to the roof, baby. Back to the roof again. Going up again. Can't wait to spend 20 more dollars on parking. <sighs> that was a little more difficult than it's supposed to be, but here we are, I'm suited up. Last cosplay of the con, last day of the con. It is Sunday. We're gonna meet up with some homies. We're gonna have our cosplay breakfast at the IHOP. <laughs> gonna do some more dealer's hall action. Hopefully have time for the gaming room. I am Burger King Aki Hayakawa from Chainsaw Man in my Burger King outfit. Check the name tag. I can't decide if I wanna go with the BK Visor. 
Okay, crown. Both? Bofa? Should I do Bofa? You think they'll both fit on there? Let's do it. All right, let's head into the con. actually out yay of course on a Sunday it's finally sort of nice outside <laughs> as soon as the con ends I'm on my way to meet the homies at the IHOP we're having a late breakfast brunch if you will there's our church this is where a lot of photo shoots were supposed to happen including our zombie land saga we were supposed to meet up here but they were doing straight up construction oh, it would have been a really cool spot to see some uh, photo shoots at like, oh well also, I saw you recording at the panel, and you're way out here skirting the Yomacon rules. I'm a rule breaker. <laughs> I, like, I, like living, I like living on the edge. So after we were told that there was a 20 minute wait to be seated, then when we asked again 15 minutes later and they told us there'd be another 20 minutes to be seated, we decided to see if there are any restaurants open at the good old GM Renaissance Center. <laughs> the group split up. Some of us went up to the Starbucks for food, and some of us went down to the food court to scrounge and see if anything was Shout open down there. Shout out to High for the high school Bosco sticks. There was only like two places open at this time in the morning. The BK was closed but Subway and this pizza place were open. <laughs> One of the funniest things was I was in my Burger King Aki cosplay. I went to the bathroom in the food court and when I was coming back to the table, like a family like stopped me, excuse me, sir. <laughs> and then I turned and was like, how come y'all ain't open? <laughs> And they were dead serious. They thought I was like a legit employee that worked at that Burger King. Like I'd be there just hanging out when the place was closed. I said, no, I'm in cosplay. This ain't my uniform. I just bought this off eBay as for, for cosplay. And they were like the most like stupid. Just, they didn't believe me that, <laughs> that it was just a, for a cosplay. Yeah, I'm the dude, the Burger King employee with the sword carrying a sword on the back. This gumball machine is modeled by surveillance cameras. I can't steal the machine. Can they just get like video evidence? The red sign. That's what I was thinking. Video <laughs> Spiky. I did still want to walk around in the Ren Scent. It still holds a place in my heart. Plus, I've never gotten a picture on the glass walkways. It's an or was an iconic staple of Yomacon. If you've seen a pic of a cosplayer on a glass walkway, it was most likely from Yoma. So here we are at the Ren Sen, and I hop on this moving escalator and it literally stops like three steps up. Yomacon isn't even running this year, and the escalators still can't handle us. They seen cosplayers on the escalator and had to stop it. And they have the security just walking around, looking the cameras like five nights at Braves, turning <laughs> off the stop escalator. Em. Stop them. Stop them. snapping some pics, it was finally time to finish rummaging around in the dealer's room and get some anime sway.
met up with some friends I haven't conned with since 2017. Brandon's youngin got to go to her first ever anime convention too, which my parents took me to cons when I was little. It was a great day for the con, nice and sunny, surprisingly the whole week was pretty nice for a Michigan November. We didn't get hit with high winds like last year, but the sun was setting and so was the con. Everyone from my group of peoples had left. Dan, Kayla, and Augustine were breaking down and loading up all their stuff from the vendor's room. I gave myself a little break outside on the riverfront. I sat down watching the remaining cosplayers relaxing and taking pics with the golden sun behind them. I had time to reflect on the week and all the days that led up to the con. I spent almost a full year collecting footage and ideas for my panel, plus recording and editing everything for it. I remember almost right after last year's Yomacon, I began planning my cosplay for the next year. Little did I know I was going to have four of them made and be part of a cosplay group. It was exciting to have friends vending for the first time at a bigger convention, getting to see old friends, making new ones and hearing about their adventures and what they've been up to while at the con. Can I buy your frog? <laughs> sure. I realized I barely even scraped the surface of things I wanted to see and do while here. No masquerade, gaming, dances, only went to one panel, not including mine or Muse. Even though I missed out on a ton of extra activities, I still felt like I had a great time and accomplished a lot over these past four days, and that's what really matters the most. Yomacon put on a wild roller coaster ride of a convention this year. I think it would be a major loss for Michigan to lose this con. At this point of making this video, I don't have a lot of confidence that this con will be making a return in the future. I think if the heads and staff can patch up their internal conflicts with each other and properly compensate all the attendees that are either new to this con or have been showing up every year since it first began and address all of their accumulated problems, then I think it will have a chance. From everyone I talk to during this con, everyone wants to see it succeed and grow. People love this con. I love this con. So with that being said, I want to give a big thanks to everyone who stopped for a photo, went to my panel, complimented one of my cosplays, said hi, even volunteered or staffed for this con and helped out this year. You guys are what's really great and keeps me and everyone else coming back to this con every year. Much love, I will see you all later. Now let's wrap this video up with some goodies I grabbed and some pics I took. Yo, what the f I feel like good right now. I get a chicken quesadilla, uh, a beefy melt burrito. Uh, do you have uh, order nacho fries? Order nacho fries, okay. And a small Baja Blast. Nope, that's it. Any uh, mild, please. Great, thank you very much. Have a great one too. What? Okay, I don't know what that was, but...